What is rockin' nerdies? I am the Emerald Rockstar, and I am back for you with another Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Now this, this guys, this is, ah, I'm, I'm excited, I'm too excited about this. There are two, we have two matches for you. This is the first one, uh, they're both versus Veronica here, and I'm gonna dive into it because, um, Oh, why not? Hey, it's me in the background. What's up? What's poppin'? How you doing? So, we had a match versus Veronica here, and these two matches, guys, the second one in particular, the second one in particular is a technical marvel. I absolutely love that second match. Um, but let's get into this match first. I made a couple of mistakes, and actually, I guess... I don't know if it's technically mistakes, but um, definitely going to say that Veronica, as you can see by the uh, name of the video, <laughs> um, had an edge in this match, had a very strong edge in this match from those stealth rocks. We'll get to that. So what we're going to do is go straight for Earth Power after that protect. I protected just to see what it's going to do because... I mean, I don't normally see Ramparts. I, I have to, I have to applaud Veronica on the, this team. I absolutely love this team. Every mod on this team, it was great. I loved it to a T. Um, so I protected and then used Earth Power. Didn't really do much there. I mean, I mean, because of the Focus Dash, it survived. Um, so I had to switch out to the only thing that could take plus two and possibly live to tell the tale and be able to fire back and take this thing out. Even though I had Mold Breaker, I had to I had to try, otherwise I was getting swept. I mean I could have gone out to um uh Tangrowth, but I'm pretty sure Rock Wrecker would end my life. After after taking an earthquake and a rock rock wrecker, I don't know. I don't or head smash, I think that's what it's called. I don't I don't think I would be surviving that. So I go to uh Crystal Meth here, Crestel Meth to um, avoid, or not avoid, to uh, just just to be a tank, and I get poisoned. Uh, so I'm gonna use Future Sight because I don't have a straight up psychic attack on this thing. This thing is uh, it's a kind of a tricksy wall because um, I do have Reflect and a uh, Light Clay on this thing, so it, it's pretty thick on the defensive side, special defense, yeah, but defensive so you could take a crunch pretty good. Uh, but that poison seeping in is not good. So I'm going to have to Moonlight here just to see where I can be after Crunch. And then I'm going to end up switching out because uh, the poison is going to take a toll on me. And I need, like, this is my only, like, I guess 10 growth again. This is my only really great wall, though. And it can actually dish out damage. And this... It also has Moonlight, which is good recovery. Uh, Tangrowth does have Regenerator, but... So we're going to switch out to Blaziken, and uh, we're going to take a not very effective attack in the... Um, or with a Reflect Up, so we're good in that aspect of things. We did take some damage on uh, the income with Stealth Rock, so our Sash is gone, so we can't uh, focus Sash counter. Uh, I went for Blaze Kick, and... <laughs> Veronica switches into Flash Fire Rapidash, which is insane. Um, and I stayed in hoping to get some damage on it with a, um, a Focus Blast. This thing's mixed also, by the way. Fun fact. Uh, I tried to stay in and use Focus Blast, but I uh, got a crit drill run. Can't do anything about that. That was pretty good, pretty well-timed crit. Because that would have, Focus Blast would have done some hecka, hecka hellacious damage. Um, so we're going to bring back in Cressel, uh, Leah here, <laughs> Cressel, Leah here, and go for Moonlight, just because we need some, we need that HP, we need to have our HP up. I should have Moonlighted here a second time, but I elected to go for Future Sight, uh, which in turn is going to be pretty good. So, goes for Crunch, I survive it pretty well, but we get a drop, and with that drop, and poison, we can't stay in. Again, we can't stay in. So I'm going to have to switch out. I can't even risk a moonlight here because if there's a crit or another drop, that's going to do a, like It won't kill me unless there's a crit, but I have to switch out. 
So I'm going into Tangrowth, my other uh, defensive beast, with leftovers, by the way. Uh, leftovers and uh, regenerators. So this thing is not going to die super easy unless we get hit by something super hard like, I don't know, Head Smash. <laughs> head Smash, I don't feel like Head Smash would have been great for me. Uh, instead of going for a grass, like, um, I have um, Stun Spore. Instead of going for, like, a grass powdery move, I went to straight up attack because I needed that Grenbull dead. And also, if this thing came in, I was able to damage it. Uh, it also came in on the turn that Future Sight hit, so that was pretty sweet. Got some extra damage there. Uh, I switch in to uh, Cresselia here to try to avoid Toxic. Try to avoid being poisoned, but he... Uh, ends up going for a straight attack with Poison Jab. And down goes Cresselia. So that was a great prediction there uh, by Ber uh, Veronica. And that made me kind of sad. I was a little sad about that. But in comes Noivern, my last gasp at trying to win this match. Noivern has to live. Take damage from the Stealth Rocks again. Or not again, but for the first time here. But I guess again, because all my mons keep taking damage from Stealth Rocks as they come in. Cresselia taking all the Stealth Rock damage wasn't great. Uh, here I went for uh, Air Slash first, uh, to, just to get some heavy damage on it. And if it's switched into um, uh, Horse there, I don't want Flash Fire to work. And then I had to go for Flamethrower the second time because of accuracy. I wanted to make sure since I'm on the on the losing end of this right now I needed to hit it I needed to take it out so that was a more important move so I went for flamethrower took that out and I tried to take a hit from this thing didn't work um, it was also my bad because I was thinking it was going to use electric even though it's neutral and I thought I could just take it and then after I switched I was like oh yeah it's just going to go for ice punch and down went Icona and then I switched into Mimikyu who died, who died of the Stealth Rocks, which I forgot. And then, again, Noivern taking damage from Stealth Rocks. So Stealth Rock, late game, coming through. Have to get a critical hit. Draco Meteor here to take this thing down. Going, 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 and it stays. So I'm going to hit with an Ice Punch. And that will leave me with only Tangrowth to try to take down the rest of the team here. So down goes Noivern. Shiny Noivern, that is probably one of the best Shinies all time. So we bring in Tangrowth, got double A on the other side of the field, Electivire, kind of scared. Hits me with Ice Punch, I know I can live one, hoping for no freeze, doesn't get it. Dies to uh, Life Orb, and I just went for an attack, because our uh, Giga Drain, because I need to um, heal up as much as I can. So this is, this is it, guys. I have to take, um, I have to take a... Choice banded Flare Blitz from the thing. I didn't know it was Choice Banded at this point, so I thought if I protect, I could take one and then go for a um, uh, Stun Spore to paralyze it and maybe get some super luck hacks there with with, luck, uh, with paralysis and hopefully get a ton of crits and then leech seed it away. But I did not survive that, guys. That was not even close to surviving. So that is Veronica's victory uh 4-0 i believe that was an overwhelming victory this if you thought this match was close like there was a chance that i could come out of this one you are sorely mistaken that this match was all veronica 100 percent of the time in control of this match and so i will definitely hats off veronica so uh the next match guys is a technical marvel so you stay tune don't you turn that channel because i can't even say enough about this match it's probably my favorite one <laughs> maybe ever it's definitely my top five favorite matches this next one coming up so stay tuned for that so but if you enjoyed this video make sure to jack that thumb up and make it blue and without further ado do i will peace on out thank you all for stopping by give some tender love and share a shout out but as for now rock on and rock out oh yeah well, i can't just leave without showing um arcanan arcanan hasn't been on the screen for a long time arcanan and I'm sniffing. <laughs>